Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. Here are some more things to check out once you've updated to iOS 17 on your iPhone. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than a thousand supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you can read more about it, join us, and get exclusive content and course discounts. So in a previous video I talked about some of the new features in iOS 17. Let's look at some more. So a new feature it's kind of neat is live stickers. Anywhere you can do the lift subject by tapping and holding like this you can now choose add sticker. And this will create a sticker from that part of the image. So here I've created a sticker of Jack. I can add an effect to the sticker if I want. Various different things to make it look more sticker like. And I can once I'm done I'm just going to choose original here. Uh, it's saved as a sticker. Now if I want to use it say in the Messages app all I need to do is tap on the plus button there to bring up the apps, choose Stickers and you're going to see that these custom stickers I've created appear there and I can use them and send them just like regular stickers. Now another thing you could do with stickers is use them in other apps not just Messages. The key to doing that is use the keyboard. So here I am in Mail and I'm going to go to the Emoji viewer and the keyboard. But if I swipe to the right I can see that to the left side are my stickers. So I can choose one of those and insert it in something like an email message here. So you can use it just as easily in Mail as you can in Messages. Here I'm going to go and use it in another app like Notes. So you can see just it's in the keyboard there. Only Updated apps will have this in their keyboards. So hopefully as new apps update like Pages and such you'll be able to use it there. Here I'm using it in Markup. So I'm marking up a PDF and you can see the plus button there allows me to add stickers. So I can create these custom little stickers that I use to mark up PDFs and images. Now there's some new wallpapers in iOS 17. So you get to those of course by going to the lock screen, tap and hold, Click the plus button at a new lock screen in this case and you can see Kaleidoscope. That's the new set and there are a whole bunch of different Kaleidoscope wallpapers that you could use. So let's just choose this one here to use it. And they appear to be static. I can uh, swipe between the different ones on this screen as well. But while they look static when I actually use them as a wallpaper watch what happens when I unlock the screen. You can see it kind of shifts like you're looking through a kaleidoscope. And the same thing if you go to lock it again. A new feature in the Contacts app is you can now go into a contact and I'm going to edit it here and a new field that you can choose is Pronouns. So you can add pronouns for that individual contact and it gives you little examples there so you know how to put the right pronoun in the right place. Of course a much talked about feature that really isn't that big of a deal is now you can go into Settings and under Siri and Search you could switch Siri from using the word Hey followed by Siri to just using the word Siri. It's up to you which one you want to do. A great new feature inside of the Password Manager that's built into iOS is if you've deleted a password there's now a Recently Deleted section. And you could see the Recently Deleted Passwords there. They're there for 30 days. You could delete them. You can go in and uh, look at them. And you can also recover them bring them back into the main list so they won't be removed after 30 days. Now the Notes app has a couple new features I want to show. One that I really like is a new style. So I'm going to tap on the little Style button there and I can choose Mono Style. And you can see there's the list of styles there. So Mono Style gives you this block of text and it's going to be a monospace font there which is great for inserting code or some kind of data. Something that uh, I'm probably going to use a lot. Another thing you can do in Notes is you can tap and one of the things you can insert is a link. And this is a link to another note. So you do a search here. I'm just going to uh, search. I know I've got one called Test or something like that. There you go. And I could add that link. And now in the note I've got this link to another note. So it's more dynamic now. You can go from note to note using those links. The Clock app of course has always had multiple alarms that you could set. But now you can do multiple timers. So here I'm going to start a 15 minute timer and I can go and add a second timer here and I can set that to some other amount. So let me just set it here to 32 minutes and I will start that timer as well. And now you can see I've got both timers going and I can pause them uh, individually and resume them and all of that. I can swipe and delete the timers right there on the screen. 
It even gives you a nice set of recents there. So if you use a certain timer a lot you can easily recreate it. In the Photos app there's a really cool feature that's kind of uh, more intuitive for a lot of people. You can view a photo and if you zoom in on the screen you'll get this crop button at the top right. If you tap that it crops it to what you see on the screen. And you can then continue to go in and crop further if you want to further refine. But this will be great for quickly cropping something to fit on the screen and then sharing it on social media. Now a new thing you can do when airdropping is instead of actually uh, tapping on the person who you want to send it to you can easily select something to airdrop like this photo. Go to airdrop and I can instead bring the other phone close. Matter of fact tap them head to head. So an alternative to having to go and wait for them to show up and then tapping their name to select. Now in Reminders you can create a list now and you can set the list type to a groceries list. And when you do that it knows about groceries. So you can type something like for instance uh, let's add milk here and you can see it's going to create a section called Dairy, Eggs, and Cheese. I type tea. It does coffee and tea, cookies. It's going to do snacks and candy. And uh, it will create keep creating these sections or moving the items to the various sections where they belong. You can still drag them out of sections put them in different sections if you want. You can also go to Manage Sections there and you can rearrange them like that. Uh, and you also have the option to do this with regular lists as well. So for instance I will go into it, this list right here and I can tap there and create sections. So I'll create a new section. I'll just call this A. And then I've got a section there. I create multiple sections and drag items uh, into the section. The bottom part is kind of everything that's not in a section. So a new feature in FaceTime is if you call somebody now and they're not available. So you may place the call and it rings and then it says they're not available. You now can leave them a message. A video message of course since it's a video FaceTime call. So here you can see it comes up and you can try calling again or record video. And then it gives you a countdown. Then you can record a video message and then stop and then you've got the option there to send it. See that little green arrow there and it will send them a video message and look at that as a notification. Now also in FaceTime you can use the reaction gestures. So a thumbs up in the video generates this little thumbs up bubble. Thumbs down generates a thumbs down bubble. It's not that useful but do two thumbs up and you get fireworks and they appear behind you. And then if you do two thumbs down then you get kind of this rainstorm cloudy thing happening. And you can also do other ones like a peace sign there gives you the balloons and a double peace sign that will give you confetti. And then also there's some other ones and in addition to that it's a uh, Double rock and roll symbols there give you lasers. Now a big improvement to typing is now when you're typing in something like here in Messages it will show you how it can autocomplete not just the word but even a whole sentence. So you can see how the gray grocery store was there and I was able to just uh, tap the space bar and it autocompleted that. So sometimes it's a single word. Sometimes it's several words. Now in Safari there's a huge new feature that's Profiles. So if I go down into the Tab Groups here and I uh, tap on the little profile there. You can see there are different tab groups. I just have the one personal one and I can create a private tab group. And I can do everything with tab groups like I did before. But in addition to that at the bottom there's Profile. And you can see I've got three different profiles here. And you can choose a profile. Now the way to add new profiles is actually go into the Settings app into Safari and you scroll down and that is where you'll see Profiles and you can edit them and you can create a new one and you can see you could have uh, different favorites for each profile and uh, other settings and things like that. The idea with profiles is they're all kind of separate browsers from each other. So for instance you could be logged into one account at a social media site on one profile and logged into a different account on a different profile. They're kept separate. So their cookies and website data are separate. So it's like you've got uh, two separate browsers. So that's of course not all. Check out the first video to see more things. And also in the future I'll be doing episodes on more of these new iOS 17 features. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. If you like this video click the thumbs up button below to let me know. 
I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.